He says, is it permissible to download books, install cracked versions of Windows operating system, etc.? This is a frequently asked question. And why people ask about it is because they believe that they're doing something wrong. And the Prophet defined, alayhi salatu was salam, sin by saying whatever is scratching you from inside and you don't want people to know about. So whatever you feel that it's not good and at the same time you don't want people to know about it, most likely that this is sinful. We know that Islam protects other people's rights. So even if a person is a non-Muslim, it is totally prohibited for a Muslim to trespass his property or to steal anything of his wealth or of his possession. Just because he's not a Muslim does not mean that he has no rights. And likewise, big corporations or authors, they have rights as well. Usually, Satan comes to us and says, these big corporations are filthy rich. So they would not be harmed by us taking some of their products for free, especially if this product is found for free on the internet or I can buy it in the market and it's either forged or an imitation or a replica. So what sin is it on me? Well, the vast majority of scholars of Islam prohibit this and they say that people have worked hard to produce such a product and by coming and stealing their right or buying a cracked virgin or something that's a replica, you are harming them and hence this is totally prohibited. Therefore, you cannot buy Photoshop cracked version or Windows operating system cracked version or any of the videos or uh, that is audio books that are available that are also uh, um, not legal because all of this goes in the same or under the same category which is invading people's rights and deprive it, depriving them from what the, it is lawfully theirs and Allah knows best.